welcome to Create a Life You Love with Tony Green, and I am Tony Green. I believe that we all have a purpose, a dharma, a reason for being here. There is work that we are to do that fulfills our passion and our purpose. Today we're going to be talking with Rebecca, who will be discussing her passion and her purpose with massage therapy. Hi, Rebecca. How Hello, are you? Tony. Hi. So, Rebecca, you are a massage therapist now, correct? Yes. Perfect. So, I, w I, I have so many questions for, for you, but first I want to thank you so much for being on the show with me. It's such an honor to have you here. Thank you. I appreciate the opportunity. I love your work. I love you as a friend. And I just think everything you do is fabulous, and you're Aww. such a sweet soul. Now you know why I have her on the show. <laughs> No, Rebecca, I love you too. You're just such an amazing being and so kind and sweet. And I just, I love you so much. Um, so I have some questions that everybody emailed in to me to ask you about uh, massage therapy. And the first one was, this is more my question. When did you first learn about massage therapy? Because grow, growing up as children, we really didn't know what a massage was or like no. massage therapy and touching and no. all of that. So what, at what point did you learn about massage therapy? Having one myself. So getting a gift certificate and experiencing it for the first time. And I was a little nervous. I didn't know really what to expect. I just heard from some that it's amazing and you have to have it. I didn't actually understand all the benefits and why. I just did it more as a spa thing. Yeah. And so that's how I got to understand what it was. Um, the calling, I'm not exactly sure, but it was the journey in my life where I was doing a lot of healing and exploring um, and doing a lot of work on myself. And through a, a friend who's also a mentor, she's a holistic wellness coach and a Reiki master teacher, she helped me with a lot of things and healing modalities um, that opened my mind to trying different things and somehow I don't know if it was through praying or just you know it, it somehow just fell upon me that you know what instead of going to get a master's degree you're gonna go back and get a degree in massage therapy so I, I did some searching and it started out with Lakeside Massage uh, School and it merged into Herzing University and I ended up with a associate of science in massage therapy. Oh, nice. That's very, very cool. So you go, you get this one massage. You First time you ever feel it, did you know right then and there, like, this is something I need to do? No. No. I just did it. I, when I first got my massage, I just, I was pretty... I, I realized at the time when I was reflecting back, and I never even thought about it until you asked, um, I wasn't in a, I was in a different place, so I, I was more guarded, mm -hmm. and I was very sensitive to it. Um, so I, I allowed it, but I, I think I naturally was tensing up in, in, at times, but I did enjoy it. It was relaxing, um, but I didn't give much thought to it, actually, after that. Yeah. I, I know that like when I've gone for massages in the past, it is one of those things that it's so it it just nurtures your body and your soul at the same time. It it really it, does. I look at it as part of a lifestyle. Yes. Change just like you know when I, I ask people ask talk to people you know about their healing journey or trying to you know I have people that will approach me and say well how did you you know can you help me get you know have a healthier lifestyle I said absolutely first of all it's one step at a time and never you know, put yourself down, never worry like you're not doing it right because the more you keep trying, the more it just becomes natural right. and part of a routine. So massage, like exercise, is part of a routine for your healthy lifestyle. And it has many benefits and it, it can balance you. It can relax you. It can release toxins that are built up. It can help with stress. It has 
help with pain. Um, so if, if I had a client who had, was suffering from pain from arthritis and he had tried different modalities um, like you know, acupuncture, which helped, but he said massage was the best. Yeah. Um, and it, it's different for everybody, but there are so many benefits just helping with circulation. You know, we tend to, as society is today, we tend to sit a lot. Yeah. You know, we have a lot of jobs that we have a lot of sitting, which is not what our bodies are meant for. So it's not able to have everything, you know, flushing through the way it should, and that's how toxins can build up. So that's why another reason why you want that massage, so you can start moving everything. It can even temporarily reduce um, cellu cellulite, you know, because you're, you're, you're massaging and you're, you're moving those um, lymphatic system, you're breaking through your tissues that might be tense and tight, creating pain, and any time you have tension where you're either going like this and you're just holding yourself, um, you're creating your muscles to kind of lock. And then they, yeah. and then as you move and try to do repetitive movements, it's going to get tighter. It's almost like you take that knot and it just pulls tighter and tighter. Exactly. And so that's why massage can work through all of that to loosen it up and let everything flow freely. Not to mention it's very relaxing. Um, and soothing can help you sleep better. Uh, so it has many, many great benefits. Well, and you know, you mentioned that we have a more sedentary, sedentary lifestyle now, but when you really think about it, even the posture that people take all day long, if they are at their desk, they're hunched over, they're leaned into their computer, or even if they have it on their lap, it's like they're down, and then let's not even get started with these tablets and phones that were constantly like this. And that's not our appropriate, correct posture. It's supposed to be, mm -hmm. you know, shoulders back, spine straight, head up, which I don't, I don't even think children have that posture any longer. Correct. It's, it is creating a lot of problems. And the one thing I also encourage is to do multiple modality. That, uh, so if you're doing massage depending on your needs. So let's say, for instance, earlier this, or in six, end of 2016, I got in a uh, car accident. So that threw everything off of alignment. And I was working uh, intensely with, a f first with the physical therapist. Um, then I combined it and did a little acupuncture. And then I went over to a chiropractor and, and did between chiropractor and massage. Today, I'm still doing that combination of chiropractor, massage, and sometimes when I can fit in, I will do some acupuncture as well. So doing a combination, because each one brings a different aspect to it and really can help get you in that full, healthy uh, state that you need to be in. And to your point, with the cell phones and all of this, even holding it, you know, yeah. kids are even getting, you know, where they're locked in and, and with their fingers, um, or different types of jobs where you're either standing a lot or a nail tech or a hairstylist. You're standing and you're using the same motion repetitively. Yeah. And it's that repetitiveness and you're not stretching. Um, then that's when everything starts tightening up and you get a sore neck. You can't really move your arms, you know, the way you used to. Um, and everything just feels sore. And then if you're sore, you're not going to sleep well. Right. Right. So it affects your sleep. Well, and what I noticed, like, you work out a lot. I go to the gym. Even in going to the gym, like, when you do a good workout, I mean, even a decent workout, those muscles are tight afterwards. Mm -hmm. So you really, uh, us, along with nutrition, getting the appropriate amount of protein and potassium yes. and all of this other stuff, you really need to have someone work through those muscles and kind of elongate them again. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. And, re and relax them. And, and if you notice a lot of times, I know with me working, I haven't been able to work out this year because working through some, unfortunately, from the accident, but um, I'm going back into running. And if I don't properly stretch or yeah. roll, you know, like the IT band, which is this muscle kind of connecting from your knee, going all the way up here to your hip, and which then also connects to the other parts of, of, of your body, they, they get so tight, it, it hurts. 
Yes. But if you don't loosen that up, you know, with a roller, with massage, combination, stretching, uh, doing yoga, uh, it's just going to stay tight and that's not, that's not good for you either. So it's great that you're exercising, but if you're not properly stretching, you're not doing yourself any good and you're not, you're not helping your mission of, of total fitness. Right. And I think most of us are not aware of how many muscles there are in the body, where those muscles are, what they connect to, and if they're tightening up, what it's going to do to our body. Right. Whether it be, everybody is familiar with um, the, what we call stress in our neck area, and it feels tight, but that can happen any place in our body at any time. So if you take for example, that neck tightness that we feel when we're stressed or uh, clenched down all day, and apply that to your glutes or your hamstrings, mm -hmm. and but we don't think to work that out to, right. to get that worked out. We don't even think when our neck is uh, tight and stressed to get that. Right. Uh, like, I'm like, yeah. get that massaged <laughs> out with, with somebody's thumbs. No, not with their thumbs. With their <laughs> Their right, hands. and and your body is very your body is very smart, so it knows how to take care of itself and repair itself. So, when you have something going on, it will compensate, and you will most likely not even realize it's comp you're compensating. So therefore, you have you know something sore on this side, and your body right away is trying to correct and adjust and balance that out and then it starts wearing on the other side as well. So you have tightness here, but you have pulling on the other side, or it affects your gait, so meaning how you walk. Mm -hmm. And so you're walking different, you're sitting different, you're laying different, and you're not even paying attention. And it's all due to your body compensating. And then there's also triggers. So you might have something here, and because like you said, it's all connected. You're just, you're, it's all connected. It your, is. Your, your nerves, everything, all the tissues, they all run into each other. So if it's something up here, eventually it can lead down, you know, to, you know, the inside over here. It can go down your arm and then it can affect your, para, you know, a lot of times your, para, like from sitting, your piriformis, which is this deep muscle, you know, underneath, but then that can affect your hip and throw your hip off, and then if your hip's off, you're walking or running differently, and then you can put pressure on your knee, and it can shoot down to your legs, and, 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 here's it just, the thing. and then you're like, oh my gosh, what's happening to so me? So many people will feel something in their knee, and they'll say, I have a knee injury. But it's not from the knee. Right. Correct. Absolutely. And most of the time, if you go to the doctor, the doctor will look at the knee and say, okay, well, we're going to do surgery, but what it's really coming from is probably the hip area or something being off in your hips or your back. Mm -hmm. And you, I don't want to say you might not need that knee surgery sometimes. Just getting either a massage or a, an adjustment might make a world of difference. I always say it's good that we have Western medication here. It's good that we do have surgeons available and doctors available mm -hmm. that can do these things, but that should be the last resort, Correct. not your first choice. I believe that if more people would uh, regularly, if they could get massages or mm -hmm. go to a chiropractor, we would have a lot less need right. for that Western medicine. And some right. of those uh, surgeries that are being performed, not saying that surgeons are doing jobs that right. they don't Need but, it, you know, you bring up a good point, but it's also about medication. You know, today's world, we're overly medicated. Oh, and the fact is, yes. you know, medications, yes, there are some that are, are definitely needed Absolutely. and help, but majority, if not almost all medications, are meant to help and to cover up and to soften Mask. the pain, right? It is not meant for long-term use. Right. Um, it's and not a cure. you have side effects and risks. Right. And those wow. side effects and risks are, I mean, if you ever listen to the commercials, they're long and scary. You know, you could have suicidal thoughts that could, you know, cause Cancer. possible death. And yes, all these, and you're like, um, maybe I'll just <laughs> not take the medicine. So the great thing when you use holistic approaches like massage and um, doing Reiki energy healing or acupuncture and things like that, physical therapy, 
and or a combination of all of them, you are then having you know opening up your body to heal without medication because and medication costs money yes. as well. Well, it, and it, so so there are so many points I want to validate in what you just said, but we our bodies and you said this earlier and it's so worth repeating our bodies were created to heal themselves given the appropriate opportunity so if your spine is in alignment mm -hmm. if your muscles are relaxed if you're eating the appropriate food and getting the appropriate exercise or just the appropriate amount of fresh oxygen outside your body is being put in a state where it can heal itself. Mm -hmm. It can work. Our body is designed it's to designed. heal its size. <laughs> yes, <laughs> itself. yes. That is exactly how we were we were designed as human beings to just like in the animals when they're out in the wild, right? They have a wound and they know how, they know exactly what to do to exactly. heal itself. And back in the days, you know, when you look at indigenous uh, Indians and that, you know, where some of this uh, acu um, you know, Chinese medicine they have, right? That mm -hmm. is established. Well, indigenous uh, Indians were doing the same thing. They right. just didn't uh, get it classified and labeled and, you know, organized like they did. But that they were doing very similar techniques with herbs, with, you know, natural things that are out there. And today they still use these things for healing. And the side effects are very minimal to none. Right. Um, so it's, it's healthier to do these types of things, and massage is a great part of it, um, to keep yourself healthy. And like you said, mind, body, soul, it's all connected. So it's how you're right. thinking. So if you're thinking you're always sick and you're, you're going to be sick, it's kind of like you're telling your body, like, I'm going to be sick. And it's, it's like, oh, yeah. okay, because your body will listen to your thoughts. Muscle has memory. And your brain is the biggest computer that runs everything within you. And to that point, I just want to go back for a moment to the herbs. I Not only do I believe that everything we need to heal is inside of us, you know, if a, a body at peace, if you're at peace, and I do believe in meditation, if you're at peace, yes, me your too. cells will not be fighting each other. Right. Your cells will not be at war. But back to the herbs, I believe everything we need was put on this earth naturally for mm -hmm. us to heal. For, yes. Now, pharmaceutical companies, and a lot of people are so unaware of this, they try to emulate the, ner the, the natural the ner herbs yes. that are out there that you can get from any acupuncturist or herbalist. Yes. They're trying to emulate that in a prescription with a lot of chemicals and additives. Right. And people aren't even right. aware of that. And then the problem is, just like when you're eating healthy, yes. these toxins, these things that they're adding into the food or the, how they're trying to design these medications, they work havoc on your body. So your body has to work harder to process this and it's causing different things to react but then it's sometimes shutting something else off exactly you know so like for instance uh for exactly. medication for somebody who is depressed oh you're God. shutting off yes. like this so now you're not feeling and well what's the i mean you're you're, and you're tell here you. as a human to feel yes <laughs> and, and now you're shutting it off and long-term use it's going to start ruining parts of your organs and causing a lot of other issues and like the, the commercials say can even cause you know suicidal thoughts and that and you can easily start you know maybe you do it for a short term but then you you have to learn to wean yourself off and there are so many holistic things that you can do with essential oils in my massage practice i use young living essential oils and I have one uh, modality I do is raindrop therapy, where it's I love that therapy. like nine love different that. essential oils along your feet because your feet have all the organs, you know. So you look at your foot and the toes here. Think of as your as your head, and then the 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 palm part of of your foot is like the chest, and then you have your you know the midsection and then down below, and it's connected to all the organs. That's why a lot of times they say putting applying them to your feet because it'll absorb into the rest of your body. Um, and then it also goes along your spine, yes. you know? And so when you do the raindrop therapy, it can help with, you know, 
uh, besides stress and other things and releasing toxins with scoliosis, with pain, um, and again with sleep and, and, and truly be relaxing. And it's natural oils. It's, yes. And these are extracted from actual plants and flowers <laughs> that what grow here on the earth. What we're supposed to use. <laughs> yes. Right. So it's Absolutely. grown naturally. Um, so it's important. It's a whole, when you really want to, to heal and be healthy, it's a combination of things. It's getting your massages, paying attention to what you're eating, um, trying other modalities depending on what your body is, is, is going through, and learning to listen to your body because everybody's different. So what works for you may not exactly work for me and vice versa. So you have to really listen and, and try things out to what suits you. Right. Um, when I'm massaging somebody, I always let them know, um, you have to communicate with me because if I'm going too deep um, and, and you're not comfortable with it, I'm not going to know unless you speak up. And you're not hurting my feelings. So it's all about the client. It's, it's what right. works for them. So I, I customize everything to, to their needs and what I'm feeling. And I'm intuitive, so I work to go with you know, what I'm feeling as well and trying to make them relaxed because they need to be comfortable and never be afraid to, to ask questions you know, sometimes it'll come out where people are like, well, what if I, you know, have a movement? And I'm like, it's natural. So if you have gas, it's just, it's okay. Have gas. You're not offending me. It's kind of think of me as, your, as a, like a, a physician type of thing, you know. You, it just happens. Right. I, look, I look at the body as the body. I'm a healer. And, I, and you are my client. And I'm here to heal you. So, you know, don't be embarrassed and know that it's natural and it does happen. Right. And you're here to heal and, and that's a good thing. So that means perhaps things are moving the way they should be and now you're able to relax and let go. And so that's, that's, a, that's a good thing. So to just ask questions, you know, I always do my best to make a client comfortable and relaxed um, and assist them as best I can. I can certainly, if they're working, you know, with other uh, physicians, if they're working with a chiropractor, you know, and there's certain things they want me to do, I'm happy to talk with the chiropractor, or they can just let me know what they recommend um, or recommend me not to do yeah. um, so that I can make sure that I'm staying, you know, in alignment with, with what they're doing and so that we're healing you together and not against each other. Absolutely. So, Rebecca, how long have you been a massage therapist? I got my, I finished school in 20, at the end of 2012, and I got my license in uh, 2013. Okay, excellent, perfect. So now, people always tell me, when I tell them, you know, follow your passion, follow your purpose, they're like, I don't have time. And you're a perfect example because you, you also work a full-time position. I do. And you do this in the evening and on weekends. Mm -hmm. And you, it's, it's part of your purpose. It's part of your passion. So instead of sitting home and watching TV or, you know, some of the other things people do, not binge watching a series, <laughs> you're out there massaging people. But when you, you, and I know you can speak more to this, when you really love something, it's not a burden. No. No. It is not at all. I enjoy it. And the biggest compliment is when a client leaves my table and then as we're checking out and they are like, oh my gosh, I feel incredible or my legs feel like jello now or I feel so relaxed. Um, and they have that look of just relief and feeling good. Yeah. It's, it's, that is my reward. So I know that we've talked a little bit about this, and I just, I want to hit one more time. What can massage help? Now, I know a lot of people who have cancer or diabetes mm -hmm. or many other um, diagnoses. It can help for that. Mm -hmm. And what are some of the other things that you've seen radical? I know you touched on it earlier, but I know there's so much more that mm -hmm. massage can help. So. Well, first, if depending on each client, you know, if there's something else going on, I always say work with your physician and make sure that it is okay with you in case you have if there's something else you're, that's going on. But for trauma, 
um, if you're going through some kind of trauma, it can definitely help. Um, if somebody even that has type of Alzheimer's, because like I said, muscle has memory. Right. So it can help with that. Um, somebody who has diabetes, because it's got that circulation that you're working, and mm -hmm. so it can help with, with that again, and sleep. And sleep, as you know, that's when we heal, when we're sleeping. So it's important to get our sleep, and it can help with sleep, relax, and stress, um, and pain. Yeah. And it, or in, if you're uh, athletic and um, you're working out a lot, it can help with that as well. It can be part of your routine to keeping to keeping healthy, total total mind, body, soul. And I do everything on a biomat. Yeah, <laughs> I love the biomat. So love you're, it. it's like a bonus, and <laughs> yes. I don't charge extra for it. So it's it's Absolutely. wonderful, and that that helps to relax you by itself. Absolutely. And then I use other things, you know, hot towels, um, and uh, like I said, the essential oils as well. And I do sometimes um, energy healing, so Reiki, I'm a Reiki master, so I can do some energy healing. I can do along a combination with the along with the massage. And I do stretching yeah. uh, the client and mobilizing, so to help, you know, depending on each, each need of the client. Absolutely. Rebecca, it has been such a delight to have you on and to hear about massage therapy and all the benefits of it. Now, I know personally because... I love massage. So I, do I. I get it every other week. <laughs> it's right. Not only because it's relaxing, because it has many benefits for the body and the organs right. from detoxing to relaxation. Right. It, it's good for you just like exercise and eating healthy yes. is good for you. Now, and I just do want to stress, even if you don't work out or eat healthy, do something. Even if it's just massage, do it so that we you can at least start moving some of yes. this stuff Even out. if it's once a month, you know, some people, they say they don't have time, but you, you do have time. You could get at least 60, 90 minutes and cut out of your time to, to do it. And it's, it's for you. It's for your benefit. Absolutely. So thank you, Rebecca, so thank much. Thank you so for much, Tony. being here today. I it's such it. an honor to have you on. I just love you so much. I love you too. Um, I just want to thank you also for joining us and uh, let you know that if you are interested in a massage, Rebecca's information is running through the screen now. <laughs> Have an amazing rest of the day. Thanks and bye-bye.